Okay, so, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just released, and, um, they aren't very good. Even though they are definitely the best mainline Pokemon games on the Switch, there is so much wrong with these two games. And so in this video, I will be talking about why Pokemon Scarlet and Violet kind of suck. Alrighty, I'm just gonna get this out of the way now. These games do have things about them that are good, but that's not what this video is about. This video is coming from someone that is a huge Pokemon fan that simply expects so much more from the highest grossing media franchise in the world. Now time to dig into the game. First things first, this game's opening or tutorial is so slow. And you know what? A slow tutorial or opening is fine. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are going to be hundreds of thousands of people's first ever Pokemon games give us the option to skip it, so that people like myself who have played Pokemon games before don't need to be taught for the 10th time how to catch wild Pokemon and how to battle. The start of a game is meant to draw you in, not one to make you put the game down. The next problem I have with the game that I discovered 30 minutes into playing was that the game looks bad. Now I'm not buying a Pokemon game expecting for them to be graphical masterpieces, but damn, Scarlet and Violet look bad. I really don't know what else there is to say about this, as well, the games just kind of hurt your eyes to look at. There are heaps of missing textures, and objects that are 20 meters into the distance look like pixelated blobs. There's this really funny moment towards the start of the game that isn't meant to be funny at all, but anyways, you get a look at the huge open world of Scarlet and Violet on top of a lighthouse. And wow, the environment looks like a mess. This is supposed to be that moment in open world games that makes you want to get out in the world and explore, like when Link runs to the edge of the mountain on the Great Plateau. But this just doesn't make you want to explore at all, and kind of makes you cringe at how bad it looks. Now time to talk about the performance issues, and there are way too many of them. Objects in the distance are constantly jittering back and forth, NPCs and Pokemon are always popping in and out due to the horrible draw distances, and usually the NPCs or Pokemon are walking around at 10 FPS or even lower, and the camera will occasionally just glitch through the ground when you're catching a Pokemon. And those are just the issues that I've encountered so far in just a day of playing. Now for the next problem, the open world is empty. I made a whole video about this before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet even released, as I already predicted this was going to be the case. But anyways, what makes an open world game so good is when there are things to do, stuff to collect, places to see, and people to talk to. And in Scarlet and Violet, you can catch wild Pokemon and battle wild Pokemon, and that's it. There isn't anything to collect, there's nothing to see, as the environments just have some low poly trees and rocks. There aren't many NPCs, and for the few that you encounter, they're just boring and are a waste of time to talk to. Now Scarlet and Violet are a step in the right direction for the future of open world Pokemon games, but it's an incredibly small step. The final thing I have to say about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is that the game's new gimmick of terrestrializing is pretty lame. Terrestrializing a Pokemon is something that you can do in battle, and it basically makes your Pokemon shine and gives them some glitter, and they do a more powerful attack. That's it. This has to be one of the most pathetic gimmicks a new Pokemon game has ever introduced. I thought Dynamaxing in Pokemon Sword and Shield was bad, as it literally just made your Pokemon bigger, but making a Pokemon shine, come on. Anyways, the video's done, bye.